Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And we're going to go and do a um, mission for Aaron again. The boxer guy. Can I actually go right through here? Oh no! Um, awkward. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> What's up? Hello. Hi. What's up? Sorry. I don't even want this car. Damn it, I'm doing it. Rain, they're in, huh? Great! Now grab the delivery cords and drive. I mean, we were right next to it. We killed the people who were covering it, so I guess we're doing this. How many missions do we need to do to get the cars unlocked uh, online? I wonder. Probably more than I cared to do, honestly. Come on, bro. Get out of here. Gotta go. Come on, man. Give me a fucking break. I hate these missions. Like, people find these fun? They're not fun. <laughs>
See, this is a catch-22. I'm not fast enough to get away from them. And with two stars that are way faster than me, they're killing me, they're gonna blow me up, and if I attack them, then I just get more stars and they come after me even harder. Cool. I'm not doing these anymore. Let's see. Um, okay. Let's just go back to where we started. This was a complete waste of time. I hate these missions. <laughs> Alright, so our shit list are um, Muammar car missions and uh, brawling. Fuck them both. <laughs> Seriously, fuck them both. Probably is not the way. Okay, this is not the way either. Okay, there's a way to get up on top of this chapel from over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay. I mean, this is what we're looking for. What was that? Rigged it up to the grid myself. Yo, think I can Got a some bad feeling, V. Sure. Get you set up with them cables. Okay, he usually has pretty good um instinct, so. Hey, looking for someone. Name's Aaron. Jim's the size of a cow cost truck. Wayne's, the boxer. Sure, he was here. Was. He say where he was going? Nah, two guys came in to see him a while back, that's all. Two guys? Tombs, clearly. Same vibe, just bigger than him. Animals. Not good. Seem to be going for a smoke in the alley. Might still catch him. Shit. Fuck. Is he dead? Come on, V. Take heart. Guy tried to do the right thing for once in his life. Severe injury to multiple internal organs caused by blunt force trauma. Time of death within last 24 hours. This is probably because we killed, um, what's-her-face. This is the consequence. And you don't feel a thing. Heard this song before, V. Know the lyrics by heart. Yeah, I bet you that he would have lived had we allowed him to work with her, but, like... It's not what he wanted. We were- we- We were helping him do what he needed... Doing, you know? Like... I can't feel bad for... Oh, uh-uh. You guys stuck around? How about you go ahead and just end it, huh? She's How about that? Again. Freaking animal stuck around, too. That's too bad, man. Okay, what was that message from Hands? If you'd be so kind as to take some time out of your busy schedule, there's a job. 
Your client's Bree Whitney, journalist. She says she has corpo rats on her tail and needs help, yet declines to provide further details. Before you meet with her, take the access card from her apartment. 18 Skyline West, 5th floor. Last door on the right. The card's in a safe box under a bamboo plant. Write to me, please, once you have it. You got it. Okay, what mission is that? Huh. Okay, interesting gig, a shit scared media, top secret investigation, corpo dirt, anonymous threats. So this is like downtown. Okay, this isn't even in. Yeah, this isn't even where we're at. Okay. Weird. Shame what happened to Aaron, but the boy knew the risk. He wasn't handling it all too well, so his story probably would have ended like that either way. Thank you for trying, V. Okay, there's our 15 for intelligence. So, let's see. We haven't done too much in this tree. But we can get max ram if we go there. Mad, let's see. Ram recovery rate. Okay. Only affects tech weapon. 20% charge speed for tech. Were we feeling pretty good about these trees? I think so. Guess we can take that. Um, luckily what we can do is we can always sort of like refund things that we don't necessarily need and, um, put them elsewhere if we decide to change things up, so. Oh, wow. someone like you end up here my owner bought me from some junk dealers revamped reprogrammed and finally infused me with her spirit <laughs> gape okay. earth and this unhappy wretch in tomb or change my form whence all my sorrows come the tree still planted in the unfinished part not wholly vegetative and heaved her heart uh, your programming sounds ancient <laughs> what can I get you? B. 
been here before, Reed. Exactly like then. Remember last time we had this convo? I do. And yes, the rules is not that different. But the stakes are. The classic copy and paste of ID matching, bioscans, behaviorals, all bases covered. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah, V, you're here. It's about time, too. We're nearly done finalizing the plan. Op not sitting well with you, Alex? Reminds me of a few other stitches we handled. One in particular sticks out. Before NC, we worked an op in Colombia. Medellin. Song's Not first now, mission. Alex. We have enough to do without digging up ancient history. What happened in Medellin? What was the up there? We had our sides trained on a guy who sat on the Colombian president's back pocket. Sold him smuggled corp tech. You saying the FIA pulls strings overseas? A lot of what we do doesn't get printed in the norm sheets. Anyway, we used stolen identities on that mission too. Things didn't go exactly as planned, but that's a long story. Think we can spare 60 seconds. Hell, might even learn something about So Me that'll prove useful. All right. Our person of interest was one Luis Hernandez, arms trading heavyweight. We aim to plant our own SA in his organization. Alex had adopted the identity of an engineer from Hernandez's entourage. She was our ticket in. She walks in to attend a meeting one day. She sees one of Luis's bikini model girlfriends prancing out on her way to walk his Doberman. Spending big money on Kit's luxury was kind of his M.O. So what happened? Well, Somi had put together Hernandez's dossier. Problem was, an important detail slipped through the cracks. The engineer's abject fear of dogs. Cold sweat, shaky hands, soggy pant leg, that kind of fear. When the Doberman sniffed Alex's knee, she pats him on the head and says, who's a good boy? Then she went to pull up a chair at Hernandez's table. Before she could sit down, they had two barrels to her head and one trained at the base of her spine. What did you do? Well, my hands are bound, got a sack on my head, hear a collapsible baton snap into place, flack. I did what anyone do in that sitch. I lied my fucking ass off. Don't sit quite straight to this day, though. Okay, back to Night City, folks. With our sights trained on a new target. Okay. Fun story. FIA Operational Recon in Dogtown, Bargas, subgroup led by Ross Ulmer, engaged in smuggling operations, contraband regularly includes arms, drugs, cyberware, and biohacking products, large and well-armed group on site. Voodoo Boy, subgroup led by Netrunner A.O. Zarin, engaged in encryption of personal data running through the servers at the stadium, provides regular net running and technological support to Bargas, scavengers. Subgroup led by Unknown, operational support needed. Primarily engaged in arms trafficking, contraband is transported under the guise of, huma of humanitarian aid shipments. No, oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay. Cool. So we have, like, new things added to our map because of that. That's cool. Okay, psych eval, Colonel Kurt Hansen. Reason for evaluation, routine. Risk of cyberpsychosis is low, IQ above average, danger to others low, danger to self low. Commanding officers know, an efficient and effective soldier, direct communication and natural rapport with subordinates has earned him their trust and respect, at times overly assertive with his superiors. Service record, reliable, consistent performance, to date, one incident on record. Psychological assessment exhibits a moderate tendency for insubordination and individualistic behavior. Recommendation, maintain closer oversight from CO while broadening his scope of responsibility in order to foster a sense of mutual trust and commitment. Performance outlook, good. Recommendation for further evaluation, no. Okay, delivery 263, Daphne to Johnston. Hey there, honey, could you rustle up a couple kegs of beer for me short notice? Preferably the light stuff if you got it. Donna's birthday is coming up on Thursday. Speaking of, you ought to stick around for it. Think you ought to, uh, think you caught her, 
I last time, not to mention you and me can talk about them price spikes you've been running into lately. Sound good? Yeah, this is all, this is all like, uh, uh, hidden talk. What am, what am I trying to say? What's the word for it? It's, it's all just like spy shit. Spy talk. Been thinking maybe we mix things up for the next screening. Say Tarantula. Or maybe the mole people? Sylved Daphne. Hmm. Yeah. We could. But why? Gone with the wind. Not your cup of tea? No it is. Definitely is. But I think B-movies can show us glimpses back into the society of the time just as well. I know. I know. Gable's iconic line and all that. But those old classics keep coming on the same nostalgic retrotopian strings. Not sure I see that as a problem, kind of the whole point, creating a brand new reality, not just a reproduction of it. Yeah, well, this new reality is kind of tame. I say we show something from the weirder corners of Hollywood. Tame? Seriously? What about The Wizard of Oz? But whatever, it's fine. Then I say we do a double screening. That worked for you, Sylph? Sure, sure, sounds perfect. Thanks, Daff. Okay, Bar Guest Bulletin to all Dogtown residents. Notice to all entrepreneurs due to a recent incident in Luxor Heights, we feel it necessary to make abundantly clear that all business ventures in Dogtown must adhere to bar guest structures. All are required to visit the offices of business operation located in the Black Sapphire. If you are found to be operating an unauthorized business, excuses such as I didn't know or I couldn't find the office will be summarily dismissed and considered an insult to the intelligence of the on-duty bar guest officer, resulting in severe penalties. Above all, we encourage honesty, transparency, and social responsibility. New liaison officer at Longshore Stacks. Okay, okay, okay. Update to medical supplies. Let's go. Files. Notes. S on Wednesday. 12 kegs. Settled. TC shots from V on 2. Updated inventory system. A didn't show. K involved. We parsed the intel from the shot Somi gave us. It's a solid foundation for the mission we want to run. Surveillance, recon, data gathering, planning, it's all done. It's high time we righted some wrongs of the past. Fuck off, Reed. Give it a rest, will ya? Nothing here's your fault. Woman's an adult, made her own decisions. Consequences caught no, up to her. she was manipulated. There was no one around who could have had her back. Here, V. Mission details on this. Stop worrying, Reed. We'll get her out. Is I'm not convinced Reed is right there. I, I really am not. But and not just her. Ladder goes for you too. Right. Our objective to free Somi I think Somi from knows what she's doing. The rest. Unfortunately, this ain't a normal rescue up. Because Well, she's been infected with something from beyond the Black Wall. A consequence of her service to the NUS and President Might. I'm not about a pretend I understand the tech wise and how. The important thing is, if she doesn't get treatment, it'll kill her. The cure is an AI that lives on a neural matrix. Hansen possesses said matrix now. We aim to seize it. So this neural matrix, how much do we know? Experimental tech nested in a mainframe that someone dragged up from deep beneath Dogtown. From a bunker, to be exact. Part of Project Sinusure, a joint U.S. Militech operation mounted in a bid to counter our Osaka soul killer. The Matrix itself is a functional container. It houses an AI from beyond the Black Wall, and its design lets the user deploy the AI for a specific purpose. In our case, to fix you and Songbird. Hmm, interesting. All right. Glenn, let me hear it. Hanson and me with the Netrunners you already know. The meeting itself is our chance to get close to Song and the Matrix. Hansen hired the French duo because they worked for Militech years back. They know its security protocols inside out. Also, they're selling Hansen access codes. Handy when Songbird goes to extract the Matrix from the Sinusure mainframe. Hansen's gunning for data from what he knows was a secret Militech NUS research project. He has no idea the neural Matrix is in there, too. Runners, scans, and behaviorals we have. Now, we just need to take those twins out of the equation. Hey, Marik and Aurora Cassell. We know anything more beyond what we saw firsthand. Yep. Songbird put together full profiles for both. Super short brief. They got their start at Militech and dove in deep. That is, till they learn the pay's better on the dark side. I buy that. Sure didn't hide their love of Eddie's. Mm-hmm. 
Gonna miss that next paycheck because they ran into us. We're gonna nab them before they reach Hansen. Okay. So we kidnap them. How we wanna do this? They're driving a rental while in NC, an exploitable opening. We're gonna track their ride and hijack it before they reach Hansen at the stadium. That's where you come in, V. We'll need you to breach the rental firm's tracking system. Addicts will fill you in later. Once we have the runners, you'll take their place. The behavior imprints are tuned already. And your role in all this, Reed? I'm drawing up your exfil wrap. Once you complete the mission, you need to get out in a hurry. I'll provide transport, make sure the path's clear and problem free. Cool. Brings us to the final stage, right? Meeting with Hansen? Right. Where well, you'll sell him the access codes to the mainframe. In other words, the key to unlocking your medicine cabinet. One of you will join Somi in the lab to feed in the codes when needed. Hansen's likely to keep the other at his side. Collateral. I'll stay with Hansen. You'll join Songbird. Once the data floodgates are open, you'll signal me. Gonna disarm Hansen, take him and his guards out. Hansen and his goons. Aim to handle them on your own? Can do a lot more than play dress up, thank you. Plus, element of total surprise in my corner. Still, sweet of you to worry. Sounds like Flatline and Hansen set in stone. Order came directly from Myers. Confirmed at this stage. He took a potentially lethal swipe at the president of the NUS. And Songbird. We have to rescue her. Myers told you as much as hell. All clear? If you have any questions, now's the time to ask. First step. What was it again? Securing a trace on the Netrunner's car. This bit's on you. Alex will expand on that in a minute. Okay. Meanwhile, we'll make sure the personality data and imprints are airtight. Main goal, want to make sure I'm clear. We're springing Songbird free from Hansen's iron grip and seizing tech that's going to save your lives. You and Alex enter the stadium as Hansen's visiting Netrunners. Disguise is our key to the op. Damn, this seems like a very, like, a very important mission. So much is going to happen. We're going to basically kidnap this pair, don't have all day. impersonate them, sell Hansen these codes while getting, while robbing him of the actual tech, saving and freeing Somi and myself. How much have you told Myers? What's she know? That Somi's fallen into the hands of the man who's organized the downing of Space Force One. Is that all? All for now. Hmm. Okay. Thanks. Couldn't be clearer. So he hasn't to work. told the president about his, about our so, idea, about her we talked about downing the, the plane. Cover that in a minute. Okay, you wait just a minute. I'm going to grab this. EBM Petrochem Stadium, Night nice City. Yeah, don't need to read that. Honestly, that this one Jew managed to build an army inside NC? That's just wild to me. The bulk of his force are local thugs. Hansen's in a circle equipped him, trained him, albeit minimally. They're overgrown kids. They do something street level to get noticed. They get a gun. Staying alive gets him a bulletproof vest or some other contraband toy. That's how it works. Goons with prototype iron that fell off the back of the truck. Nova. Vargas Core and her circle. Ex Militech commandos. A specific op brought them to NC under Hansen's command. They're only a dozen or so strong. Outside looking in, they seem rock solid. Actually, they're anything but. Without Hansen, the command structure crumbles. Okay. And any for your thoughts, Alex? About all this? Honestly, still wondering why neither of us went back to DC. Not me, not Reed. They put him to sleep. Saddled you with the Dogtown assignment. Who are you kidding? Say we disobeyed orders, gone back. A dressing down by some bureaucrat would be the worst we'd have had to endure. Think... Think we were both waiting for something, like the downing of Space Force One. Probably makes us a sad fucking pair of hypocrites. 
Myers doesn't know the deeds of this op, does she? Never will. Is that right? God, I it's hope not. not. Wrong. So, we serve Hansen up on a silver platter. It'll be salutes and handshakes. Shit goes sideways. We're royally fucked. Welcome to the agency. <laughs> you know Reed better than I do. What he thinks? What's his true aim here? Saving so me or carrying out a mission? Saul imagines he's responsible for her. Always has. Thinks he's responsible for all of us. Hell, even for you, I bet. It's how he keeps his grip on reality. Life. With mixed results, mind you. <laughs> and so me? Same story as always. Dares, lands neck deep in shit, somehow crawls out. Rinse and repeat. Intercepting the runners. How do we do that? They're driving a rental. Plans to break into the rental service system. Karen Exotics. Specializes in rare models. Karen has tracking stations around the city. Gain access to those, we find the car easy. There's a station not far, near Pacifica Serenity Bible Church. Check it out. Stations. How do they work exactly? They ping vehicle IDs across the network. Monitor location, tire pressure, all of that. Hack them, and it'll be open season on the runners. Find it hard to believe taking one station will be enough. Rental agencies got rare rides to protect. Hmm. See if I can find more info. If the one's not enough, we'll improvise. So breach the station, trace the car. Good, what then? Use this little doodad. It'll pop the locks on the doors, let you take complete control from the trunk. Yeah, <laughs> last time we took tech like this, it didn't work out very well. Literally first scene of the game. Dunno, anything goes wrong, I'll be stuck in there. Suck it up. This is FIA trunk ops, soldier. <laughs> Seriously, though, the tech just works. And we'll have your back the whole way. You know, Kabuki's tech wizards sell similar stuff under the counter. Would never call it reliable. <laughs> well, fed tech wizards are just more skilled than Kabuki's. Better be. When you think you're near a station, scan your surroundings. They're not concealed. Shouldn't be tough to spot. Get right on it. Okay. Okay, what else? We're done? We're good? We're good. You got anything else to say? Nope, think you're done. Okay, nothing else to grab, no extra lore. Panam, it's been a while. Hey, did you hear about that psycho who kidnapped kids and kept them somewhere out in the Badlands? Christ, what a sicko. I wouldn't be surprised if he was a Rathen. Yeah, real ugly affair that. Managed to help solve it with a badge from NC. One of the kids was his nephew. Well, aren't you just full of surprises? I can imagine that must have been quite the ordeal. Tell me about it. Even now I get sick to my stomach when I think back to it. I never told you this. Uh, okay, fuck. I've never told this to anyone because I hate remembering it, but when I was little, my best friend was captured by Raffins. It was an accident, and she would have ended up a complete goner if Cassidy hadn't come to the rescue. Some really bad things were about to happen, but Cass pulled out his, revol uh, out his revolver and the dust settled within seconds, but the kid's uncle? Who is he anyway? River Ward. He's a little like Cassidy, I suppose, minus the whole cowboy thing. Self-possessed, unshakable, and a man of principle. Maybe I don't know him all that well, but there's one thing I know for sure. I can come to him with anything, and he'd take it seriously. I don't know any officers, but I haven't exactly heard good things about the police in Night City. Good to know there are exceptions. You always seem to draw the good folks to your side, V. That's a rare thing. We should go check the wreckage. It's a once in a lifetime 
V, there's a job. Brazilian intelligence contacted me. Two agents need assistance locating a missing person. There is, as always, a caveat. It seems they're operating without Papai's approval. Simple prose, hands. Your metaphors, they're a little heavy... Uh, handed. <laughs> Our clients are Brazilian intelligence agents acting without said agency's knowledge. Huh? How come? Now you overestimate my knowledge, V. You'll have to ascertain that for yourself. Best of luck. Okay. Find Mark Banna. Longshore Stacks. The powers that be love wrestling in the mud of our little Dogtown swamp, but let's not fool ourselves. What would Dogtown be without its incomprehensible spy games and power struggles? I suppose the answer is not worth the our efforts. In any case, I've received word from some Brazilian intelligence agents. They've lost someone in Dogtown and would like to find him. The lost soul's name? Mark Banna. Now, if they're secret agents, surely there must be a catch. I found one. Though there may be others for you to find yourself. The no... The known unknown. The agents seek their colleague without the knowledge or approval of the Brazilian intelligence agency. I suggest you ask them why. Oh, and have fun. Okay. Watch it. Lost all this scratch I made again. If you're asking, I ain't lending. Never again. Come on, please. Last time, I swear. I really want one of those relic points, so I'm like hoping I'm gonna find one soon. Okay, room 203. Welcome, welcome. I'm Steven Santos of the Brazilian Intelligence Agency. Yes, we got Name's those processors v. tracked down. No affiliation. How is that so? Mm hmm. Just a We're moment, let we'll scan your details. Oh, can't wait to see what you dig up. Hold still, please. Hey, Wood. That explains your colorful CV. What does that mean? Theft, assault, robbery, uh, the usual checklist. Small wonder we're meeting you here, no? Nah, oh, come on. Sure you got access to all sorts of intelligence, DBs. Why are you giving me the boring bits? Look, we know who you are. Yeah, you and Half a Night City. Street grid didn't earn itself. We'll take her. Anna! The signal could die any minute. We don't have time to be picky. Take a look at the screen, V. Hans mentioned you're looking for someone. Killed in him. action. Bravo, Mark. This is Mark Banner. 37 years old. Worked at the agency for 12. Six feet tall, brown hair, well built. Combat trained. Banner went MIA in Dogtown six months ago. He sent one last call for help right before he vanished. Listen. <coughs> I'm here to... uh, fuck. They're coming for... Uh, uh, Send back up. Please. Please. Uh, his bio monitor began pinging a few days ago. The signal's coming from Dogtown. Seems mobile. Any questions? You're a big org. Got plenty of agents. Don't think you need my help here. We are, and we do. But our hands are tied. We'd risk an international incident sending Spec Ops in. 
Look, this Banna guy... The recording's clear as day. Chum's gone. Why go after him now? What if he's not? No, we've got to check that signal. We owe him that much. Clearly, your agency didn't greenlight this. Why are you still following through? Ah, I see Hans checked us out. Slimy Hans bastard. Hans is a pro. It's true. We're acting alone. Would you like to know why? Yes. When Benna went missing, the agency declared him KIA. His body has never been found. Then his signal returned. What did the agency say? Insufficient evidence. Our algorithms place his chances of survival at 4%. Fuck the algorithms. Principle, integrity, naivete. Call it what you will. They don't care. We do. Okay. Why is Banner so important to you? For one, we owe our careers to him. Banner introduced us to the agency. Oh well. Some matters are so unjust you can't just sit and pretend them away. Only two things matter here. First, Ben is our dear friend. Second, we hired you to check on his signal. Is that clear? We'll handle the eventual fallout. Why not trace the SIG yourselves, the two of you? We are analysts. No clearance, no experience in field work. Fair enough. Albana's signal is currently coming from Organitopia, the old natural history museum in Terra Cognita. Oh, cool. I was One waiting for a mission is, to show the up there. Scavengers are flocking to the signal like flies. And wait, there's another. The gang's with Boris Rybakov, an ex Petnaz operative. That bastard killed enough people to fill a cemetery. Rybakov, anything I ought to know before I give him a warm Night City greeting? He's an elite sharpshooter. 167 confirmed kills. His cyberware includes ocular implants linked to his weapons. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a really system. good sniper then. Reaction accelerators, adrenaline pumps. And you can add to that some experimental Soviet tech. It seems he is able to hack his enemy's oculorware. Had the scavs trace the signal? We have no idea. So, scavs. Expetsnaz, Biomon that's been dead for the past six months. <laughs> yeah, we don't like it any more than you. Okay, all clear. Guess I'll get to it. I'm sending you the cords. Anna will call once you lock in on the signal. Find Banner, please. Or at least that damned Bion monitor. See what I can do. Multi-billion Savoyal investment in Brazil, one of Savoyal's greatest investments is coming to a close this year. Savoyal intends to cement its stake in the Brazilian energy sector by 2075, after a discovering after discovering significant oil deposits on Brazilian soil. The lengthy negotiations between Savoyal and Brazilian authorities have been consistently anchored to one key demand, the assurance that the average Latin American will benefit from the lowest possible fuel prices at the pump. Petrochem offered comment on the developing partnership. Oil is a remnant of the past. The future has already found its fuel. These comments fell on deaf ears, however. The Soviets remain firmly committed to oil as the proven energy solution. If nothing else, the deal struck between Savoyal and Brazil means at least one thing is certain. The energy war between oil and that is far from over. Don't come any closer. Try it. Just don't make it hurt. <laughs> don't come any closer and then he steps up. Faster. Uh. 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 Somebody call in the dogs. Don't call in the dogs, bro. You saw what happened. Somebody Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> I'm not chasing you, I promise. Oh. I know it looks that way. But I'm not. 
We just happen to be going the same direction. Ah! You got any room to spare? Room? <laughs> Girl, oh, we shit, got a mattress oh, shit, oh, with shit. your name on it. Welcome to Tony's <laughs> She must be so scared. Okay, where's it happening? Must be above. Oh, it's right there. Shit. So something came up. Why the fuck you always send that emote shit? Ugh, just write what's up. Without that scop. Well, airdrop sort of dropped where it wasn't supposed to drop. Choom, for fuck's sake. So it fell where we can't get to it. Sounds like a problem. That's got at least a few solutions. Solution number one. A ladder. Solution number two. Legwear. Solution number three. What? Your butt. <laughs> Use your fucking head. <laughs> your butt. Okay, anyways. <laughs> okay, 7A, 7A. FF, where's, no, where's an FF? Damn, okay. Let's find the FF, because that seems to be the missing factor right now. Okay, I see FFs in this line, but that's it. Do I see them anywhere else? I don't think I do. Okay, we got it. What was that? Increased criminal activity. Okay, we can probably do both. Hey, next race is in the Badlands. The nomads don't fuck around when it comes to burning rubber on their home turf, so I'm gonna need you in top form, like... For reals, meet me at the uh, end of Brooklyn Street at the new dam. Call like last time. Don't mention it. Damn it.
Now, if we get close to one of those things, um, we hear like a beeping sound, right? So I'll know if I start getting close to one. There's a problem at Longshore Stacks. Remember that attack convoy we hit? I remember. The one when you took a hostage. Mm-hmm. And now we need to go. Don't throw this out! Ah. Where'd that person go? Okay, I did not expect him to be a heavy. These guys are fucking me up. <laughs> Really? Holy shit. I did not expect that to work. Okay, where is it coming from? I don't know where this uh, hacker is. Okay, I don't know if that killed him or not. Okay, let's see. 25 millimeter robotic guns, grenade launcher. Decent chum works Mondays and Wednesdays. Goods to pick up. Sanitarian aid.
another power sniper rifle iconic. A spine tickler. Tech double barrel shotgun. Heads up. I can't talk long, but two things, quickly. First, good news. I managed to upgrade your relic's firmware. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Wait. Don't worry. Completely painless. What? Relic upgraded? How'd you manage it? No easy feat, I'd guess. Tweaking tech that advanced. Mm, let's say I've had extra time on my hands. More than I expected. Don't worry. We're getting you out of there. I know. Well, cool. Well, shit. Well, that just gave me the ability to do this and more. So we do that, and then... We can spread that quick hack. And then what do we want? Let's check these two. When crouch becoming detected by an enemy will temporarily slow time, dodge, or dash out of the enemy's sight. Okay. Destroying an enemy's vulnerability grants a plus 10% frequency in new vulnerabilities. We'll do that one. We'll do that one next. First good news, you said. So there a second thing? Right. It's super important. It stays between us. It's gotta. Proof of my trust. I'm sending you coordinates. Come after dark. We should be able to talk freely. What is this about? Okay, need to Delta. Let's see you soon. Huh. So she wants to talk to us alone about something. Okay, and there's another relic thing here. Got the weapons from Sophia and her sons. Better look it over before we send them along. Take the rifles apart, put them back together, and test the shit out of them. Anything faulty goes right back to the stadium. Honestly, for our build, I think that's all we needed for relics at this point. If we find more points, great, but... Okay. So hold up, I'm... Technically where I need to be for like main story stuff right now?
too. You look like someone stepped on. I'm... Those enemies over there, too? Say anything? We got orders to secure the area and wait. Anyone unfamiliar comes out? Oh, I got a level up too. Okay, that went well. Breach caused by a violent explosion. Three anti-personnel mines capable of moderate explosive force. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada 101, Andy Ford, Black Mamba 90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot 27, Pedo Kuto, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.